Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about workflow model. So as part of this tutorial, I'll talk about the basic workflow consoles in AM, how to create a workflow model, how you can execute that workflow model manually, and how to create a launcher and then use that launcher to trigger that workflow. I'll take a very simple use case to explain workflow model. I'll create a model which will create the page versions. If you're not aware, you can create any number of the versions of pages and you can restore any page at any time as per your need. For this model, I'll use this step which will create the page versions and then I'll call this workflow or the model manually as well as I'll show you by creating a launcher and we'll trigger this workflow using launcher. Purpose of this tutorial is to explain the core concepts of workflow and workflow model rather than to explain a complex workflow. Once we understand all the basics, then we'll cover the complex use cases. To create a workflow model, go to tools and workflow. You will find a number of options available related to workflow. Models, all the out of box model will be present under this section and you can create your own model as well. Instances, all the running instance of that workflow will be present under this in section instances. All the out of box launchers will be present under this section and you can create your own launcher as well by going to this section. All the completed workflow, all successfully completed workflow instances will be present under this archive. In case your workflow is failed due to any reason, that failed workflow instance will be present under this failure section. So now let's understand how you can create a model. Go to models, create new, give a title and just say done. So a new model has been created. You can select and edit. So as soon as you create this model, this model will be created at two places. One is design and one is runtime model. So let's see. Workflow design will be present under conf, global, settings and workflow models. So you will see a new model has been created. This is basically a design. A runtime model has been created under var, workflow, models and you will find a new model has been created, Geeks page version. So while creating workflow, you have to take care of this synced. This is very important. So when you update this workflow, the, all the changes will be present under design. Those changes will be reflected to runtime model only once you click on the sync button. So if you do not sync that, uh, your changes, so your workflow will be keep taking your old runtime model. So let's, let's delete this out of box given step. Even if you see this sync button become white, now all I have removed this out of box given a step, but if you go to the workflow runtime model, let me refresh this, weeks. go to nodes, you still see three nodes, means start node and that node I deleted and the end nodes. So you have to take care every time when you change something, you have to click on sync and this button will become white from green. So once I sync this button, you know, become green now and if you check here in the runtime model now that node has been removed so every time you have to sync it now let me create a step to create page version you have to click on the sidebar and search for create version you will find a steps create version use this add it you can give a title and description here Keep this checkbox checked. I'll explain later what is that and it does not have anything else. Just click on save and you will find this. Now again, you have to sync it to uh, uh, make these changes to runtime model. The sync it. You can trigger this workflow manually by click on this and start workflow. By starting workflow, you have to provide a payload means the page on which you want to apply or trigger this workflow in title and comments. So let's choose the page. So I will apply this to one of my page, X, EN, and there is a newly created page workflow. Just select this, 
give a title create version and just run this it has been successfully submitted now let's see whether page version has been created or not go to the site and select the page here you see a drop down just click on this and search, click on the timeline it will show all the action performed on that page so you will be seeing here the create version this has been created means this workflow has been initiated and using this step a new version has been created now so you can see only the versions as well if you select here and you can check timeline now here go show all and then select only version so in that case you will see only the versions every time you won't trigger that workflow manually you want that workflow to be executed on a particular event so for that purpose AEM gives you a features called launchers you can create your own launcher and using that launcher you can trigger that workflow so now let's see how we can create a launcher go to tools again tools workflows and the launchers you will see all the existing launcher present here you can create your own launcher as well so let me create add and here you have to give some information how do you want to execute that workflow what kind of payload is what is the event so i'll cover the basic part of this launcher in this tutorial i'll have a separate tutorial where i'll discuss all these fields so what is the event type i say okay whenever i modified that and what you will modifying that i want a page to be modified as soon as i modify that page this workflow should trigger right so a number of options available you can select as per your name now let me choose a page so what i'm saying as soon as my page is modified that workflow should trigger and the version page version should be created now you have to define the path under which content path you want to apply this so i want throughout my all sites click now you have to choose a model means which model you want to execute so our model is geeks page version select that and this button this button is very important so just click on activate means your launcher will be activated once you click on this right so suppose you have a launcher but you don't want to that launcher to trigger any workflow you want to disable it so using this button you can disable that launcher now let's create so our launcher has been created now so whenever any of my page under my project any page has been updated as soon as this workflow will trigger and it will create a page version of that page so let's see let's update any page the updation means you can add a component you can delete a component any kind of updation to my page so i open the same page and i'll add a component here any component i will add so as soon as i add a component this workflow will trigger and there should be a version now let's go back and check the same page let me refresh this so now you will see a new version has been created and that workflow started geeks page version workflow started and a new version has been created if you see only versions now you will find two versions one version seven minutes before when i executed that workflow manually and the new version just when this workflow executed through launcher so that way you can trigger that workflow through launcher now let's go back and check the workflow consoles so as you see instances i cannot show you instances because there are no running workflow right now we'll see this once we involve a human means any participant step at that time you will see a running instance archive both my workflow were successful one manually and one through launcher so you will be seeing two instances right it's a completed status is completed right first one manually the second one through launcher and you can see the history as well you can select and see open history so you will be seeing the history as well of that 
completed workflow. Support in case my workflow failed due to any reason at that time, that workflow instance will be available under failures. Uh, this tutorial was the basic of workflow model, workflow and launcher. In coming tutorials, we'll cover more complex scenarios once we have all the understanding of workflow concepts. I hope you understood. If you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.